Facebook knows a lot about the people who use it, secret information used to sell ads. Well, today Facebook said it is pulling back the curtain. Users will now get to see the files that Facebook keeps on them. Here's Anthony Mason. The world's largest social network earned more than two and a quarter billion dollars in ad revenue in just the first quarter of this year. It is all about revenue and Facebook is really um, doubled down on the idea that targeted ads, personalized ads, are the way of the future. And Deborah Aho Williamson, an analyst with the digital research firm eMarketer, says Facebook has always collected data on its 1.2 billion users, not just their likes and clicks on its own website, but also on the other sites they visit. It can tag ads, it can tag websites, um, and so that it can recognize when a Facebook user is visiting that website or, or using a certain app, and then that information gets transmitted back to Facebook. Now, Facebook says it will use that information to tailor ads more directly to its customers. If you're planning a trip to Paris and visit a travel website, an ad may appear on your Facebook page. The company, which in the past has been criticized for pushing the envelope on privacy issues, says it will also add a why am I seeing this arrow, which when clicked will tell users why an ad has been targeted at them. And Facebook for the first time will allow users to see what it calls their ad preferences, the attributes and interests that it has collected on them. In the end, I think everybody needs to recognize that, that Facebook is in the business of, of you know, gathering data, and so they should be careful about what they share, knowing that everything that they do there um, is, is going to be part of Facebook's database. Facebook will allow users to alter their ad preferences. They'll also be able to opt out of receiving the targeted ads, but, Scott, they'll need to visit an external website set up by the ad industry to do that. Anthony Mason. Thanks, Anthony.